90.2 MHz VHF, Thameside Radio. When Thameside made its first broadcast back in December 1977, the two people involved would hardly have imagined that Thameside would still be going stronger than ever five years later. In this part of the programme, we're going to look back at Thameside's very first year of broadcasting. Thameside Radio. In 1977, Bob Edwards and Tony Lloyd met to discuss the possibilities of starting a radio station giving a London-wide service of rock music broadcasting in the high-quality VHF band. Both Bob and Tony had originally worked together many years before for a medium wave station called Radio Anonymous. Then, Bob was just 13. Yes, well that was Maggie May, hope you like that. Uh, Sorry about that, something's gone wrong here. Anyway, uh, we have uh, another record line, another deck, and uh, this is dedicated to all the chickens you ate on your Christmas dinner. This station was put off the air following a home office raid in 1973. Bob went on to work on another station, London Music Radio, in 1974. London Music Radio, 1974, Christmas Day sounds. Stay alive on 385. Music now! Happy Christmas to you! You must get great! London Music Radio. This is uh, Disco Tex and the Sex Alettes, would you believe? And something called Get Dancing. Until this time, very few pirate stations had investigated the possibilities of broadcasting in the VHF band. In fact, there was only one station using this band on a weekly basis at the beginning of 1977. Bob and Tony set to work on the new station, designing and building transmitters, studios and aerial systems. The name Thameside was agreed upon, and by November the station was nearing completion. The first test transmission was scheduled for November the 27th, between 7 and 8 in the evening. You're listening to an engineering test transmission being made by Thameside Radio on 90.2 MHz VHF. Regular transmissions will start in two weeks' time. The response to this broadcast was very encouraging and it appeared that reception of the station was good all over London. There was another test the following week and on Sunday the 11th of December 1977 at 7pm the station officially opened. Do you ever have difficulty finding a radio station playing music? Oh yeah. Then here's a tip. Tune to Timside Radio on 90.2 MHz VHF. <laughs> Hello, good evening and welcome. This is the very first transmission by Radio Thameside. If you want music, stay tuned. From the very beginning, it was decided to involve the listeners as much as possible in the one-hour programme. And this was done by encouraging people to write in, and of course there was the competition. Right, it's the time we've all been waiting for, where you can win one whole Mars bar. Isn't it fantastic? All you have to do is listen to this little excerpt from a record and uh, say which group it is. So, here we go. And all you have to do is put the name of the group on a card or postcard or something, or a Christmas card, and write to Timside Radio, number one, Grosvenor Parade, London, West 5. One feature of the early programmes was a news headline roundup by Tony Lloyd at 7.30. Uh, no, it's a bum pride. It's a bum pride. It's a bum It's a tongue tied Tony Lloyd. Well, that's what I was just going to say. With the time approximately halfway through the hour, Tony Lloyd brings you the Radio Thameside News Headlines. More than 5,000 Asians have been marching to Hyde Park in protest at what they see as the racial killing of a 24-year-old Bangladeshi. The man was left dying in the gutter after being stabbed 10 days ago. The South African Premier, John Foster, said today that no amount of outside pressure will make his government introduce one man, one vote. The rulers of China say that war with the Soviet Union is inevitable. They are stepping up training of their armed forces with an eye to actual combat. Tonight will be uh, cold and cloudy with occasional rain. The minimum temperature will be, wait for it, 5 degrees centigrade. This has been Tony with the news and weather. Now back to Bob. 
Thank you very much, Tony. Um, now you'll go off and uh, ring Within up a few weeks, it became obvious that Thameside was appealing to a very wide audience, and the number of letters received increased each week. Paul from Dawson in the East End says good reception and wants a dedication for Chris, in brackets female. And Jeff from Chestnut, first time listener, wants a dedication for his wife Sue, who will be having a wisdom tooth out, painful. Also Stephen, all at work, and anyone else who knows him. I read out a letter here from Nigel Barnes of South West Nine. It says, Tall at Thameside, I first listened to you a few weeks ago and was uh, amazed at the strength and quality of the signal. You pushed the meter to what capital reaches. The program format was very good, and the jingles are the envy of all pirate radio stations. The Bob Edwards Show on the radio is lots of fun from 7 until 8, and there's music too picked out just for you. Don't be late. You can do a little quiz, hear the amenities, tongue tied Tony Lloyd, you can muddle through the news, and if you're on your own, you can use their phone to air your views. It's the one you must not miss. It's on VHF, no hiss. The programs are so clear. They don't offend your hi-fi ears. They're better than the BBC. If you're fed up with having your intelligence insulted every Sunday, why not tune to 90.2 and listen to some decent music? Listen to some decent DJs. Bob Edwards from 7 until 8 on 90.2 VHF. Uh, another one here says, firstly, what an ace radio station, keep it going. And secondly, uh, please play something for Dennis Huff of Walton on Thames, Surrey. With the audience growing, it was decided to produce information sheets and stickers to send to listeners. Thameside Radio are producing car stickers and a three-page information sheet. These will be available in about two weeks' time, but you can order them now. The cost is absolutely nothing. Just send a stamped address envelope to number one... Grosvenor Parade, London, West 5. Order now and we'll dispatch your copy of the information sheet and car stickers as soon as they are received from the printers. Be the first in your district to read all about Thameside. Here is a public information broadcast. Now available from Thameside Radio, the amazing bumper news sheet, crammed with interesting facts and information about your favourite Sunday station. Read all about Bouncing Bob, Thameside's number one disc jockey. Bob Edwards is speechless. <laughs> Find out what makes him speechless and how he gets it all together on a Sunday. Hi, I'm Bob Edwards. Bounce with me. If bouncing with Bob Edwards is far too energetic for you, why not blow your mind with Tony Lloyd, the station's engineer and newsreader? I'm Tony Lloyd. Listen to me on 90.2. Yes, with this new news sheet, you can find out how the station works, how to get better reception of their VHF broadcasts. Why not send today, with a stamped address envelope, to number one, Grosvenor Parade, London West 5. And why not, while you're at it, ask for some of their super car stickers? It's getting a bit embarrassing having them lying about all over the floor. Another way of involving the listeners in the broadcast was by phoning them up to take part in competitions. And now on Thameside, it's time to phone someone up and annoy them. Hi there, you're on the Bob Edwards Show. Oh, no. Hopefully on the other end of the line is Robert of Chelsea. Are you there, Robert? Hello. Hello. Uh, nice for you to join us on the programme. Yep. You listen every week? Uh, yeah. Good, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> What's what's the music do you like? Do you like the music we play? Uh, yeah, Tom Robinson sort of stuff. And oh, that's good, because we play some tonight. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've uh, got a competition lined up for you. Uh, it's Queen with Killer Queen, and you've got to count the number of times they say killer. OK? Killer, right. Right. At the beginning of 1978, after sending several jingles into the station, the intrepid Birdman was invited to join Thameside, and soon the programmes were filled with Dave's now famous witty jingles. I've taken the hatch off and I've got my hand inside now. I've removed the detonator. I'm approaching the final phase. Pass me the tweezers, Crothers. There you are, sir. There you go. This is the most tricky part, you know. I've got to get this blasted viewers clear. Yes, I know, sir. Looks damn ticklish. Certainly is, Crothers. Mop my brow for me, please. Yes, sir. 
got it. Thank God. Well done, sir. I didn't realise these damn clock radios were so blasted tricky. They certainly are, sir. Now you can listen to Thameside in peace. Yes. Thank God. On the sixth month anniversary, it was decided to broadcast from Thameside's back garden in the sun. However, this was met with some unforeseen difficulties. Uh, there's mud in your eye. Not a bad year for surgical spirit. Well, we're celebrating uh, six months of not getting nobbled, and we'd like to invite you along on this little party, so if you've got a bottle of plonk hiding under the table somewhere, then drag it out and join me for the next hour with Thameside Wireless and a silver celebration of signed. Are you there, Tony? I'm here. What's it like down there? Oh, it's, oh, it's really nice and sunny, and um, I'm it, getting attacked by a wasp. <laughs> I think, which is it's a bit embarrassing. I think I had over to you, Tony. Okay, okay, thank you, Bob. I'll turn you off. Right, don't know what's going on down there. In the summer, Bob went touring America for ten weeks. In his absence, Tony sat in presenting the one-hour program. And now, the man who dares to sit in the chair that Bob Edwards has so recently vacated, Tony Lloyd, bringing you a show of which it has been said that if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say this was their finest hour. Yes, join us now. For this extravaganza, this musical experience to rival all others. Good evening, as the man said, it's Thameside for yet another Sunday through until 8 o'clock. And if you tuned in last week, you'll have heard Bob say that he's in America for a short holiday. So it's me, the newsreader, Tony Lloyd, taking over the programme this week. We'll be having a phone number where you can ring us in a minute, but to take us up to that time, here's Wings and I've Had Enough. Whilst he was travelling around the States, Bob recorded some reports, which he then sent back to Thameside. Uh, earlier today, I went up the Empire State Building, which was great fun. There's, uh, oh dear, I've forgotten how many floors it was. I think it's about 102, and you have to go up two lifts to get to it. And there's a terrific view of there. You can look down on top of lots of roof gardens. Uh, it's just about, apart from Central Park, there are practically no gardens in the city, so everyone has to have them on top of roofs. At the moment I am in fact in Central Park, which is a very big park, right in the middle of New York, and there's uh, ponds and things around. In fact, there are very friendly squirrels. One is uh, very close to me at the moment. Bob Edwards, because the lady likes her disc jockeys, Bouncy. As expected, the television over here is very different from over in England. Uh, I was watching baseball last night, which is a more boring game than cricket, would you believe? They throw the balls about four times before anyone even hits it. After that, there was a quiz game which went on for ages. Instead of just the usual half hour, perhaps, that we get, it went on for uh, much longer than that. And of course, there's that uh, funny thing where, in the middle of a program, the bloke's uh, talking about something to do with the game and then suddenly bursts into an advert. Uh, after that, there was uh, Hogan's Heroes, which, oh gosh, was maybe about 15 years old now, I think. I remember watching it uh, ages ago in England, so uh, we're not the only people who have repeats. It was during this period that the station lost its first transmitter. In the early months, Thameside broadcast from hilltops, with the aerial slung in a tree and a car battery providing the power. As the daylight hours extended, however, the station started using rooftops, where the aerial would not appear so out of place. It was one such broadcast in the summer of 1978, where Tony was spotted setting up the equipment. He consequently made a quick getaway, and although the equipment remained untouched throughout the broadcast, it had all been removed by the following day. The station was back on the air at 7pm the following Sunday. I just also apologise to some of you who may be receiving bad signal strength at the moment, so uh, it's time to twiddle your aerials and get the best signal strength. This is due to circumstances entirely beyond our control. Like mislaying a transmitter, for instance. 
Bob returned from America and took back the program. Thameside continued at 7pm every Sunday with the weekly hour-long program. On November the 5th, a special extended broadcast was planned. However, after only 20 minutes, this happened. And uh, now I've got to pick out of the bin the winner. And it's uh, Nick Croft of Westminster. And if I hold it up, Tony should take a picture. Yeah, okay. Too. Uh, while you're holding something up, hold up the uh, cover of the Beatles bootleg album. Oh, yes. Because he yeah. probably hasn't I'll seen that, that cover of that before. So I'll get that in the picture as well. So two rare things at once my face plus the cover of the Beatles album. It's not too heavy for you to hold, is it? I mean, no, no. I can no. just about manage it. Yeah. All right, here we go then. Ready, steady, cheese. Cheese. Click, right, right, right that's, that's done. It. So while it's developing, we'll play this week's competition. You have to take the first letter of the artists, put them together, and it will spell a word. <laughs> Thameside had lost its second transmitter. The staff rushed to the site, in the bushes, but when they arrived, all the equipment had gone. Naturally, the station was back on the air at 7pm the following week. Are you fed up with the same boring rubbish on the wireless? Yes. Then why not tune to 90.2 every Sunday from 7 until 8 o'clock? I think maybe I like that one. A lot happened in the first year, in spite of the broadcast being limited to just one hour. In the following years, a great deal more was to take place. Tonight, we're looking back at the past five years of Thameside. If you have just heard what happened in the first year, listen at 8.30 for the second year history of Thameside. Thameside.